Today we have some bad news for Godzilla X Kong sequel. Adam Wingard will not be returning for the sequel of Godzilla X Kong. Why? Due to scheduling conflicts. Making way for his return to indie action horror. Will he return to the MonsterVerse in the future? Let's find out with Dangerville explaining more. Welcome home residents, it's your mayor Alistair back once again. Alistair, pretty I love Dangerville. News, I have to put so that myself. in the beginning. Now, I context, love Dangerville. Of course, every MonsterVerse film up to Godzilla vs Kong had different directors, right? Yep. There was Gareth Edwards for 2014, and then Vox Roberts, then Doherty, and then Adam Wingard, who was brought on in 2017 to make the fourth entry in the MonsterVerse. That film was obviously a huge critical a huge and box office hit. success, being praised as the reason that audiences felt safe going to the cinemas again after a long pandemic. Big weekend at the box office with Godzilla vs. Kong. He really, truly did pandemic, bring MonsterVerse to a new wondering. level. This signals a return to the movie. And I still love that film. It's probably my second favorite in the series. Oh, so, what's your favorite? You know, he was brought back to make the follow-up Godzilla, Godzilla Kong, X Kong? The New Empire, which released just over a month ago, and that is set to overcome Kong Skull Island as the highest grossing MonsterVerse film yeah, ever. Yeah, it did amazing, amazing in the box office. Storytelling, fun characters, and brilliant Titan action. So everything was set for Adam to finish his trilogy with a third Godzilla Kong team up film. And I've been so excited for the trilogy. And what he's going to do, which means he was on track to deliver the finale of his story. So in only a few years, we could have the climactic Adam Wingard. And it's gone. <laughs> what the heck? What's that fuck doing here? Uh, what? It's gone. It's all gone. Yep. It's Adam all gone. Wingard they killed Kenny. Out. In a surprise announcement, The Hollywood Reporter has revealed that Adam Wingard will not be returning to yeah. finish his trilogy. Now, this isn't because Legendary have dropped him due to clashing creative interests. Nah, it's making a horror movie, which I'm definitely going to watch. It's because Adam is shooting an original horror film over at A24 titled Onslaught. Onslaught, which is that filming sounds fall psycho. Of year. So, unfortunately, he won't have time to direct the upcoming MonsterVerse film. So, yeah, this is quite worrying for a few reasons. Firstly, it shows that Legendary is itching to get a move on with the next Godzilla Kong film, so much so that they aren't willing to wait for their lead creative head, the one that's responsible for they might have the to. I think they will. and giving us our biggest film ever, which means that they might be rushing into it far too quickly, which could leave us with a poorly made film. This means that Legendary is looking to have the follow-up release in 2026, in wow. only two years' time. Typically, these films take three years to make, from pre-production, shooting, visual That's effects, a long and editing. Time to make a movie, it's also though. a good amount of time to make sure audiences don't get that kaiju fatigue. But with two years, I never get audiences kaiju might fatigue. not be as hungry for a new Godzilla Kong film as they were for the New Empire. Secondly, it means we won't get a proper conclusion to the themes and direction set up in Wingard's films. Part of the reason they worked so well is because of the consistency. It's the first time the MonsterVerse had music cues and themes that followed through from the previous yeah, one. Everything was the just visual style was consistent. Perfect. It had the same writers, same cinematographers, and we got the same characters Ooh. returning and actually expanded upon. But now we'll have a different writer and director. There's a chance the characters that we actually really like. Yeah, because they can be have dropped. a different input. They can the hint twitch that things around and it might even change the, the style, film. which recall, could be good, Wingard could be bad. We don't know. Channel the same emotions from Godzilla vs. Destroyer and that he wanted to take the next film in an overall darker direction. Focusing more on Godzilla this time since Kong has had the limelight for the last two entries. Of course, I wish Adam luck with his oncoming horror film, and I'll be eager to see it in theaters, but it's a bit irritating that Legendary won't just wait a year for him to finish his film before he jumps back into the monster I don't understand, why not? The last time Legendary didn't wait when for the When you know someone is bringing you success, somebody is trialed it, and it's worked perfectly, they're bringing in the money, let's be very honest, why, why not wait? The previous film to return, we ended up with Pacific Rim Uprising. <laughs> My grandmother used to play it for me. <laughs> Keeps me calm. What about me? Knock on there, knock on. 
so I pray we don't end up in that situation. Possibly my biggest worry is that another director will come in and try imitate Wingard's style, trying to implement that more fantastical aspect of the new empire without any of the charm oh, being a pale imitation of someone else's work instead of the craft of a passionate filmmaker just expressing himself. But that said, who could come in to replace Wingard? We already know that Dave Callahan is writing the next film, whose previous work includes Shang-Chi, Spider-Verse, and the first draft of Godzilla 2014. So, will we see a new director step up? Perhaps Ben Wheatley from I, I think I think it most likely, to be honest, would be a new director. Because the reason for that is just because of his new movie, you don't know sometimes these movies get delayed further and further. And I don't think, you know, Two, they're going to wait for him. Aquaman's James Wan, or maybe even an old one like Michael Doherty. I've seen some people say Del Toro, but his style is so dramatically different to what the MonsterVerse has set up so far. But his sense of scale is excellent, to be fair, so maybe? Personally, I think the perfect choice would be Michael Matthews from Love and Monsters. That film was charming as hell and managed to balance the fun with emotional scenes and moments of horror. So uh, I you know what? Be... As long as whatever director comes in, I just want a little bit more action, a bit of more fighting, you know, longer scenes of fighting. Be a great addition to the MonsterVerse family. So all in all, I am worried about the next MonsterVerse film. I don't want them to drop that sense of consistency that has been established. And I do want more of a Godzilla-centric film with that darker tone that Wingard was hinting towards. But yeah, it is especially with everyone predicting and maybe possibly a uh, Destroyer coming in. Come on, Destroyer as the next villain in there? That would be awesome. Worth remembering that just because Wingard isn't directing, it doesn't mean that he won't be creatively involved at all. He could still be assisting the writing or producing, it just means he won't have time to properly steer the ship. So hopefully his ideas still follow through with Godzilla and Kong He 3. definitely but will have a think? big input. Is Adam leaving a good or bad thing? And who would you get to direct? Let us know in the comment section down below. For more news about the upcoming Godzilla Kong sequel, subscribe, subscribe to the channel. the notification button to become a resident of Dangerville today. And give this video a big old Kong sized thumbs up. Go Kong on, give it a go. Thumbs up. I've been Alistair, <laughs> and we'll see you, residents, in the next one. Next one. All right, so there you have it. So many different possibilities for the sequel. But fingers crossed, Adam will be back. Like, subscribe, and I hope to see you soon.